Welcome to Kentucky Gunslingers. And what we have here today is a piece of United States history. This is the Smith & Wesson M1917, which uh, was a revolver that was designed, that was fitted to shoot the 45 cartridge, which was meant for the 1911. And when the United States entered World War I, there was a surplus of 45 cartridges, uh, but not a surplus of 1911 handguns. So the United States government pet petitioned Smith & Wesson and Colt to uh, basically fit their large frame revolvers uh, to shoot the 45 cartridge, uh, which required a moon ring, which the rounds were fit into a moon ring and then put into the cylinder. And what you're looking at is one of Smith & Wesson's um, manufactured versions of that. The serial number on this dates to 1918, which was the, the last year of World War I. The United States entered in 1917. Uh, so this would have been manufactured and issued in the United States Army uh, to a soldier. Uh, this particular one, uh, has gone through the collector uh, who owns its family for years and years and years. Um, very nice example. Has some wear. As you can tell, it's uh, pretty basic with fixed sights. Um, cylinder is still pretty clean. Like it looks great. Doesn't rattle or anything else. It still actually does have the ring. Uh, for the lanyard that somebody may have used on it. Uh, the serial numbers are still legible. Like this is actually in really great shape for a, a firearm that's 103 years old. So uh, very nice condition, nice example. Uh, these grips, I, I've got to say, are, I mean, as old as they look, I've got to say that they're, they're the original to the firearm as well. Um, interesting, fire pin is on the hammer. Um, older pistol for sure and definitely one that was was designed to do what it needed to do now the m1917 had an interesting run um, so from what I've uh, uncovered just looking into this uh, Colt made about 150,000 change of them and so did Smith & Wesson so there was about 300,000 of these out in the world and after the war military surplus obviously got him out into civilians hands smith continued to make a civilian version because it was so popular a lot of folks really enjoyed this firearm and it was produced um, from my knowledge into the 50s um, but the united states military actually continued to use them uh, for quite some time where you saw examples of these in korea uh, the tunnel rats in Vietnam used them because it was something that was was light, formidable, could carry into close quarters. Um, very interesting firearm here. Um, so what I don't have are the, the moon clips to show, but to get the cartridges out, because the original 45 cartridges that were used in the 1911 didn't have a distinct ring on the back of them like the 45 ACPs that you see today. So they needed that ring in order to eject the cartridges out. So a soldier would eject the cartridges out, have another ring with six rounds, put it in here, close the cylinder, and you were good to go. Um, the Colt version looks very close to it. I do not have one to compare. Um, but this is the Smith version. And it's, uh, it's had an interesting run. It, it really has. Um, from some of the research that I was doing, you'll see that they were actually in military. The army actually had some in like rotation and in their surplus, not necessarily issuing them, but in their surplus into the 90s, uh, which is fascinating. But this one, like I stated, is from 1918. It's a piece of U.S. history right in front of us. Uh, this one was issued for World War One. Uh, very nice pistol, very interesting. Uh, so thanks for checking out the video. Definitely give us a like and subscribe to the channel.